Hello everybody, E here. Um, I just walked three miles for the first time. Um, I feel good. I don't even look like it, for real. Well, it, it is it, with 7-11 in the morning here and I've been walking since 6 a.m. It's nice and bright now, but when I first got out here it was still semi-dark. Uh, <laughs> I feel great. Um, I could probably go another, that was 17 laps to do three miles. See, okay. How I did it was I turned on my audiobook, I set it to play, I set, set the sleep timer for an hour, and I just walked without um, really paying too much attention. Um, literally, my app tracks how many times I go around. But, anywho, three miles. Well, 3.06. I'm sure I'll post this on Instagram or Twitter, but this is that day. It's the first day. Yes! <laughs> I'm so... I, I'm just beyond happy. Um, anyways... Oh, man. Oh, and my my neck meat and my belly are getting even more jiggly than they were. Hello, everybody. E here. So, I'm doing the new route. You see the road stretching out behind me. And then up ahead, all that. See, I was pretty much downhill. Yeah. Well, I'm on the way back home. Um, the new route, almost all the way in the opposite direction I'm walking now is a uh, uphill. So it's only like an right now. Yesterday I did 1.3 miles, and today I did 1.5, or I'm going to be anyways, if I calculated right. Could be more than that. Whew. All right. Um, so this is still that second day. I'm literally sitting uh, in a chair, <sighs> chilling. Those are my bookshelves. I don't think you guys have ever seen that. That's my stuff. Yes, I have a stuffed animal collection. That's them up there, but uh, sitting here, relaxing. That's my guitar and walker, and yes, I was bedridden for six months, and that's how I got up to go to the bathroom. That thing right there, my guitars, yeah, all that water lamp with no shade. Um, some of some more of my books, like my Mirakami collections up there. Anyways, uh, if you're wondering if I'm ever gonna go downtown and show uh, the town where I live and all that, yes, I am. But right now. I'm fo really focusing pretty hard on losing some weight. Uh, I want, I got a doctor's appointment coming up in two months and I want to get down so hopefully I can either get off this blood pressure medicine or you know something, I don't know. But uh, I'm doing two shakes a day and dinner, not slim fast, that stuff's got too much sugar in it for me. Um, I'm doing uh, this stuff called vegan essentials or something like that, oh so, yeah, uh, I am, my legs are like spaghetti after doing that, this uphill stuff. And uh, I can't wait till I get used to this and I can push myself to do a full three miles with that first half, one and a half miles uphill. Because um, right now I'm doing ba basically 1.75 miles. Um, let's see here. I am currently listening to uh, Jillian Flynn's Dark Places and I'm, I'm really enjoying it. It's probably the best book she's written because I've read Sharp Objects and Gone Girl. I hated the ending of Gone Girl and it kind of ruined the whole book for me. I had a bad taste in my mouth afterwards. If I reread it, maybe I'll like it more. But Sharp Places was pretty okay. But this one I absolutely love. So this is still that second day. Remember the nice blue sky we had? <laughs> yeah. All that's gone now. There's pop-up storm. Happens every year. <laughs> every summer, I should say. Alright, so... I've been walking about three miles so far. I'm probably about... No, two miles. I'm probably about a mile away from home. I just wanted to show you guys the kayak stream here in town. Hope you guys can see that. Ah, I had a bug on my ear. Sorry. Really cool. Oh. Oh. Here comes the truck, so let me go. Wacky wailing, wacky flailing, waving inflatable arm guy. He's having a bad day. When your pop up storms turn into tornadoes.
what you see over my shoulder is from June 28th. Uh, there is a dead space in time between June 28th and July 17th. This is what happened on July 17th. Okay, so what happened? Uh, where are we? Why haven't I been posting updates? Why haven't I been doing walkie-talkie? Um, well, I ended up in the hospital. Uh, the full story is when I finally went to go see my doctor, uh, she bumped up my blood pressure medicine. I had been doing so well and I still ended up getting the blood pressure medicine bumped up. Uh, when I went in that day, the day that she bumped up the blood pressure medicine, I was in a lot of pain, my back was hurting. Um, I had walked that morning. It was really dumb of me, uh, in hindsight. But I went in and she, the blood pressure was like 210 over 128. So she goes, let's go, did you take your medicine this morning? Yes, I did. Let's go ahead and bump it up. Take two pills a day. Okay, great, whatever. Um, I came home and I continued to do my normal routine. I was walking um, and I decided to add uh, weight training to it also. Just 10 pounds, just bicep. There's a whole arm workout I'm doing on YouTube. But uh, I had taken the two pills that morning um, and I'd been taking the two pills. I mean, this is about, I would say, it's a course of three weeks. I had been taking those two pills a day. Well, this one day in particular, um, on July 17th, <laughs> I started feeling lightheaded. And it, it was coming and going, and I had black spots, crazy stuff like that. Uh, just feeling just very weird. Um, I thought I had gotten too hot, so I went to go take a cold shower. And when I got into the shower, I almost blacked out. Um, luckily, I had a chance to get out of the shower. This is a, yes, it was the stupidest thing imaginable to be feeling that way and to take a shower, but I was trying to cool myself down. Um, still, once again in hindsight, probably wasn't the smartest thing to do. Um, got out of the shower, sat down on the step. We have a garden tub. Um, sat down on the step, and everything just kind of went away. I don't know how else to put it. Um, you, you hear the thing, you know, uh, people say, the, the light at the end of the tunnel kind of deal. What happens is your vision tunnels. Um, I guess as you're dying, uh, that's the best way that I can put it. Uh, but I started to come back. This is this sucks. Um, talk, sorry, talking about it sucks. Um, so I called for Shell. Shell came in and got me, helped me to the bed, which is, I mean, the door from the garden tub to the door that connects to my bedroom to my bed is less than five feet. So we get me in there, get me covered up, uh, because modesty, whatever. Um, and she calls the paramedics. Paramedics come out. My blood pressure when they got there, um, and I was already starting to feel a little bit better, just a wee bit better, was 70 over 30. Um, and that was, I know, my body, I, I know my own body, that was higher than it was when I was sitting on the edge of the tub. Um, I really think, had I been in worse shape than I am now, I know I'm in pretty bad shape, but had I been in worse shape, I wouldn't, I, I just would have died right there on the step. Um, that's a firm belief of mine, because things were going away. I felt, I felt the electricity leaving. Um... I don't know how, I mean, I got goosebumps just, just thinking about it. I, I can't, there, there's no possible way for me to, unless you've been through it, um, it's one of the only things I have never been able to put into words. I, I don't know, it's, everything was shutting down. I could feel everything shutting down, almost as if somebody was running through my brain, flipping switches into the off position. I just, 
even now it's hard to dif it's it, it's difficult to talk about but we're going to get through this so i end up in the hospital on july 17th uh when they find when I, okay back to the back to the ambulance because the ambulance didn't take me uh me being once again the idiot that i am i told them that if it got any worse uh that i would go to the hospital and by the time I, I said that, I can't even put this in order of the way it actually happened. This is how frazzled I still am. And it is now August 7th, I think. Um, so almost a month later, 10 days short of a month later. Um, they took my blood pressure again after uh, checking me out, having me lie down, lying, sitting, standing. It's called orthostatic blood pressure. I don't know if you're familiar with it familiar with it. Jen, if you're watching, I know you are. Um, but they did that, and when I sat up, my blood pressure came up to 120 over 80, roughly. I think it was like 121 over 83, but that doesn't matter. So, they took that one, and I'm like, okay, well, I'm feeling better now. You know, I'm good. Uh, if I feel worse, then I will call you guys back or I'll go up there themselves and then the EMT said well it's free for us to come out here but if we take you you get charged for you know the trip uh, I don't know if he didn't want to take me or if it's just something he had to tell me um, but of course my brain's like well okay I don't want to pay the extra money for the ambulance trip so let's go ahead and do the second option if I get worse again it wasn't, it wasn't maybe 10 minutes after they left that, uh, I laid, I, I laid back down and everything started to tunnel again. I sat back up, um, started feeling a little bit better, but I took, uh, my blood pressure with, uh, the wrist cuff that my mom has. My mom came over, checked me out, uh, and she did it, and it was once again 70, well, this time, last, the last time at the house was 70 over 20. And she, she, of course, being my mother, rushed me to the emergency room. Um, I got up there, and my blood pressure was maintaining around 80 over 40, roughly. Um, they pumped me full of fluids. And I asked them, I, was a, I, told, I told them about my the upping the blood pressure medicine. And they said, yeah, but that's not the only thing that's wrong with you. Uh, you're dehydrated. Now get this, kids. <laughs> I drink at least 64 ounces of water every single day. I have a 32 ounce bottle that I fill up at least twice, twice a day, sometimes three times, sometimes four times. And I know you can drink too much water, but I think I know my limit. Um, but, and I told her this, and she goes, that doesn't matter when you're taking that much blood pressure medicine because it's diuretic. So as quickly as I was putting it in, I was, peeing it out. Just simple as that. Um, she said it was extreme fluid depletion and dehydration. And I said, well, what can I do to make sure that this doesn't happen again? And she told me, nothing, really. Um, your body either absorbs it or it doesn't. I thought that was very strange. But uh, um, my doctor is out of town right now. And I've taken some time to to think about it and I went ahead and I, I well, the day I got home um, from the hospital I, I stopped the double dose of blood pressure medicine and I've only been taking one since then since the 17th and like I said now it's August 7th a lot of stuff has happened since I ended up in the hospital I've done a convention um, I finished another book I've done a lot of stuff I have I have convinced myself that I am okay but I haven't started walking again. Um, I don't feel right. I don't, it, and I know I need to get back on the horse. But right now, I don't even want to look at the saddle. You know? Um, so, that's where I'm at right now. I'm still scared. Uh, and that's why it's been so long since you've seen one of these videos. Uh... I don't like putting, you know, extremely, you know, uh, extremely personal stuff online 
because people are quick to judge, you know. Um, now it's every single day I get comments about my weight, and it's every three months I get told by my doctor I have to do something, I have to do something, I have to do something. I finally do something, and this is what I get. So, but, uh, it feels kind of silly to do the outro, so I'm not going to do one. Bye.